and we are live again here in the corner of Drake and Weston. Yeah, let's do this. All right, today, uh, image, pretty simple when it comes to imaging for bell work. Uh, just go to the online source and find the images. I have posted the definitions for you guys, so make sure you guys double check and you have the correct ones. If it's close, then good. If not, change it. Make sure it's correct. Natural resources should be able to find uh, images of all this stuff real easy. Agricultural mining and fossil fuels. If you want to know, uh, my notes have pictures of natural resources and fossil fuels. You'll have to then go online to find agricultural and mining. So that work pretty simple. Get that turned into me. You can go to Canvas. Go down here. Turn it in on Friday. Today, what first period, which is they're a little bit ahead of everyone else. So kind of tell you what they did and kind of go from there. All right. Today they worked on finishing up the natural resources worksheet, the expert sheet, which I kind of talked about yesterday in class, um, on this uh, video. So let me show you what that is. As you see here, um, this is what it is. There's questions you need to answer. The first one, based off these pictures, is this an animal, plant, or mineral? And then map-wise, as you go through 2 through 10, it's all about uh, South America. You're looking at different animals, fruits, vegetables, all that kind of natural resources, oil, coffee. Which countries have this? Which countries have those? Um, so just read the questions here, 2 through, through, two through 10, and scroll up and look at the map to answer the question. I will say that next week I have planned a small little quiz, uh, three questions. Not too horrible when it comes to the questions. There's about it's like 10 points, but so each question's worth a couple points. But they're going to be doing a map, all right? You're going to be looking at a map similar to this one. It won't be South America, but it'll be something like this color-wise. Um, visually, it'll look very similar to this, and you'll have to answer questions based off of natural resources that you find in that map. So if you're able to do this map pretty easily, if you're looking at these questions, going, okay, I can look at this map. I can kind of figure things out then you are good. If not, you need to let me know so we can help you out with whatever um, we need to do to make sure you understand how to read a natural resource map. So the first one is South America. Second one is Canada. All right, same thing as you just did. Answer those questions. Now it's only 11 through 17. Maybe two providence or states, as they call them providence, as we call our states. So just kind of look at them. I have Ontario, Newfoundland, Alberta, Quebec. Look for those areas which has mining, which has more oil. So just kind of go up here, look at the key. Find those providences, answer those questions. The skill builder, we kind of went over that yesterday. The first one we already said was copper. Then just kind of going back, uh, agriculture. Remember, agriculture is just a fancy word for farming. So which is basically farming. And then you're going to have to basically look at the map. Uh, which resources would you find in South America but not in Canada? Which, same thing, question, but then in Canada, which of these two would you find? And then another question about just natural resources. Once you get that in, turn that in. It is due today. I know some of you guys probably already have done it. I've already emailed to me or have already turned on a canvas. Great, super. You guys are doing a great job. Continue that work. If you have not, make sure that it gets done today and turned it. That's what they're working on today. That's what they're turning in. Now, once they get that done, I'm having them go ahead and start working on what we're doing tomorrow, which is kind of what we're going to be doing today as well. If you go here, it says Climate Zone Go. So Climate Zone Go is just basically me saying Graphic Organizer. I just don't want to say Graphic Organizer or write Graphic Organizer a lot, so I call it a Go. Here's what it looks like. Very colorful. We are moving on to the natural, uh, from natural resources to climate. In this climate, we're going to talk a little bit about each different climate as we go through the year. We're going to talk a little bit more about them. What we're going to do next week is we're going to take one or two of these climates and make a superhero. I'm basically a biography and understanding how the climate works. Can a person survive in those climates? Uh, you could do a supervillain. It's up to you. But nonetheless, let's just say superhero. So when you're filling out this information here, make sure you're filling out de I mean, a decent amount of information. Don't just kind of copy and paste it. I want you to understand it because you don't know which of these climates you're going to be doing. I could give you one. I could give you two. All right. So this is basically your study guide for that work. Next week, we'll start. I'll kind of go over the biography part of it. I'll go over how you uh, create your superhero and all the details with that. But first, let's kind of understand what are the different climates we have in the world and understand what they look like. So we understand how to then do the superhero. Up the top here, let me zoom in a little bit more. I have links to three great websites that are going to be easy for you guys to uh, find the answers. When he looks, it, when I scroll over, it says control, then click the following. So the way the restricting editing works and links work in my papers, you're going to have to hit the control on your keyboard and then click. You can't just click. If I just click, it's not going to do anything. So as you see, it says control, then click. So I hold control, hit click, and you see then it opens it up for me. So here's the first one. Um, as you see, it kind of tells you the different climates by color. 
and then you can scroll down here and click on the different climates that you want. So if you want to half screen it and then fill out the answers. So the first one is tropical wet. We try to find tropical wet and there it is. We click on it and we try to find the answers that we can do. You see they have temperatures, they have images, as you look like, they have the animals. So they have different stuff on this website. It's a pretty good website to use. Here are the other ones. So we have that one. So first one's gonna go back to that one. And then here's the next one. And then here's the last one. Each of them have their own unique differences. Uh, some are a little bit more detailed, some are a little bit more uh, kid friendly. So it is up to you on how you want to do this. They all have generally most of the answers. Uh, some might not have all of them. I think this one doesn't have uh, two of the climates, so you will have to use another one but they all have good information to use. This one, same kind of thing. Get away from the ad, go down there. It gives you a map of where they are, then it gives you a list. Now they do have different names in here, so I tried to give you the different names over here. So if you see uh, Marine West Coast, that's Temper Marine, they're relatively the same, same thing for here. So when you're looking at, let me just half screen it here. So when you're looking at a, de a desert is arid climate. So when you're looking at arid, you can do desert, all right? Tundra would be then your polar. Um, Let's see, you have marine west coast, tropical forest, that's our temperate forest, tropical rainforest is your tropical wet. So you just kind of have to pick and look at them and see where they are. Um, so this one has a decent amount of stuff. Then the biggest one here, this one, this has a lot of information. It's very high level uh, when it comes to their information. So you can get a ton of information, but it is a lot more. As you see, they even classify it in different ways. So you don't really need to go about the classification. You just need to keep scrolling down until you start seeing it. Rainforest, there's your tropical wet. As you go through, here is your wet and dry climate. Okay, And then as you see, you just kind of keep going through. And you just kind of try to find it. Okay, Steep, we don't do step or steep. So you don't have to worry about that one. We, Mediterranean, we do. So you can just find Mediterranean. It gets down there in the pink. Then you just kind of match them. Okay, this one is dry midland. We don't do grasslands, so you don't have to worry about that one. Um, most continental. Okay, looking at moist continental right there. And then we do not do that biome. We do tundra. That could be into the polar. Polar can be considered tundra as well. Um, ice cap can be considered as polar as well. Hi uh, Highland continental. We don't do that, so you don't have to worry about that. So you see they have some of them in here. So you will have to probably use all three websites to answer all these. Now, the goal is for the class to uh, get this done by tomorrow. They started to work on this today, but not a lot of people actually got a lot of work on it. They maybe got one or two of them done. So we'll see where they're at with the rest of the day goes by. But if you can start kind of working on this, tomorrow is basically a day where we're going to work together in class, make sure everyone gets this. On Tuesday, because on Monday we don't have school because of Labor Day, Tuesday we can come back. I have a set of notes. I'm going to kind of go through these, um, make sure everyone has correct answers, make sure everyone understands each climate correctly. So this is basically them trying first, and then we are going to go over it together on Tuesday to make sure everything is working and then release to then do the climate superhero. So uh, get what you can done. If you don't get all of them done, don't worry about it. If like you're missing the vegetation in one of them, don't worry about it. On Tuesday, I'll have notes and we'll kind of talk about it in the Tuesday video in Tuesday's class. All right. So get what you can done using those websites. And then whatever's left over, we'll try to settle that on Tuesday. All right, and then tomorrow I'll just go back over this again because that's basically what we're doing is the climate uh, graphic organizer tomorrow. And if you have any questions, you can always teams me up, uh, hit me up on the chat, or you can send an email and let me know what's going on. Hopefully you guys are doing great. Let me know if you need anything. Other than that, have a good one.